I Met Your Father has been renewed for a second season, and we couldn't be happier. Fans of the show, which is a spin-off to the iconic American sitcom How I Met Your Mother, have been waiting excitedly for more information about what's next for our heroine, Sophie. Stay tuned because this video discusses sneak peeks at season 2 thanks to Hilary Duff's Instagram. Let's dive into it. First things first, Hilary Duff's behind-the-scenes look at season 2. The role of Sophie, How I Met Your Father's lovable protagonist, is played by Hilary Duff. You might remember her from Lizzie McGuire. That's right, our childhood star is back, and she's not just the main character this time, she's a producer too. Recently on her Instagram, the actress posted a mirror selfie of her outfit for the show's set of season 2 shooting. The caption talked about Hillary loving Sophie's fit of the day and the fact that season 2 was coming really soon. So of course, the comments were flooded immediately. Lizzie McGuire fans showed up in hordes, obviously, but a lot of the comments were super excited about the snippet of the next season. Now for a quick catch up, what happened in the show so far? Meet Sophie, an old-fashioned romantic who just wants to find love. In 2050, she tells her son the story of how she met his father. Until here, the show mirrors its inspiration material perfectly. After that, it gets messy though. Sophie's son isn't shown on screen, and his face might be an indicator of who his dad is. Yes, as a more recent show, there's more inclusivity, and it's certainly fresher compared to the original cast. Sophie is a photographer just looking for romance, and she thinks she'll find it in her Tinder dates. She tells her best friend Valentina anything and everything and hopefully that'll help her figure things out when she's confused about who her true love is. She's got three options. First, she thinks it's Ian, her match on dating apps, but it doesn't work out with him when he leaves for Australia. It might be Drew, the school principal she hits it off with, but in the finale, they part ways because he doesn't approve of her career choice. Okay, career counselor. Also, she kisses Jesse, who seems perfect to us. He's an Uber driver and he falls fast and hard. She says he loves her. Sophie panics, then she goes to a bar. Then she meets Robin Shrobatsky, who tells her to be brave. Sophie runs to Drew. He's evidently done being in love with her because he's kissing his ex-girlfriend. She's miserable and goes to the art gallery where her work is up and finds Ian is back. He's there for her through chance and fate. Could it be him? Next, everything we know about the next season. The first season dropped in January with 10 episodes, all of which were around 30 minutes long. The second season will also most likely be streaming on Hulu in January, but there will be 20 episodes. This is probably a result of testing for audience approval, and the show being renewed means the caution worked. Josh Peck, who played Sophie's love interest Drew from the first season, probably won't be in the second. They broke up in the finale and it seemed over, but it's been confirmed that Sophie's met the father of her future kids on night one, and it'll probably be explored through Ian in the next season. He's played by Daniel Augustin. Another cool piece of information is that there will be a way bigger cast. Let's talk about it. Coming up, How I Met Your Father's Best Change could be a bigger cast. There are a lot of big differences between the original and the spin-off, and the main one besides the gender switch is the cast. You could count the main cast on your hand in the original show. They were a close group of friends, and the rotating rest of the cast could show up as new love interests and other minor characters. This allowed the fans to better connect with the main characters and form stronger attachments to them. On the other hand, in the spin-off, everyone has their least favorite friend. Still, adding an even larger cast has more pros than cons. In contrast to Ted, Sophie's anonymous future partner has already been cut down to three possible guys. The showrunners confirmed that he is in the show as of season 1. With Ted, every new love interest was an option for fans to consider, while diehard Robin and Ted lovers refused to even think about it. This definitely isn't possible for How I Met Your Father, but it's far from a bad thing. With a larger cast and her love interest narrowed down, it'll be far easier for the show to focus more on the rest of the cast too. Without a bigger cast, the show could face the problem of getting boring for its audience, which is likely to pick up on hints way faster than with the original show. Let's look at how fans feel about this. There are a lot of mixed opinions about a larger cast. While it's certainly not conventional for important continued cast members to be introduced in the second season, the show is a spin-off, and a spin-off of the show with the mother, aka the love interest, being introduced at the very last minute, so it wouldn't be that far off base. Also, the show being a spin-off means the producers had to be very careful about its initial release and marketing. Can't risk disappointing fans of the original after all, but while there's opposition to a large, newer cast in the age of the modern sitcom, most people honestly don't mind.
mind and are super excited for the change it'll bring. Now, how is it different from the original? The biggest difference it boasts is a broader perspective. While the original sort of limited itself with a whitewashed 2000s American TV view, the remake has a diverse cast and is aiming for a broader audience. Breaking away from its inspiration in this sense is definitely smart but will make getting popularity difficult. How I Met Your Mother might have been beloved by romance fans but it had a very basic fan base. Also, the showrunners admit that Sophie has already met her love interest, confirmed. And while mainly this leaves us three options with only the slight chance of a surprise man we might have missed, it's already very different from the original because those showrunners never confirmed who the mother was, not till the very end. It also has a way bigger cast. While this puts people off because that's not the tried and true best friends formula, it does mean the show could end up being more similar to stuff like Modern Family where there was a large but well-loved list of characters. This would set it apart from How I Met Your Mother. Fans of other duos and pairings like Lily and Marshall have long mourned the screen time they could have had if it wasn't for older Ted's crazy narration. There are specific differences of course, like the time periods and the fact that Sophie is a girl and Ted's a guy. Also, Sophie's future self is played by Kim Cattrall. While Bob Saget was an icon, his face was never shown. So fans could wonder what Ted would be like in the future. Finally, what's the public's opinion on the show in general? There's a reason why people are looking forward to more cast members in the second season. They didn't like or connect with people in the first one. As a spin-off, it's been described as tired and forced, and a lot of people question the necessity of a spin-off in the first place. And why did we get to see older Sophie? It ruins the whole point. A lot of How I Met Your Mother's fame came from its long run. That hilarious minute-long summary by Neil Patrick Harris the close-knit main characters, and Ted and Robin's love. There was no striking moment of romance for Sophie, which is what the hopeless romantic stereotype needs. There's no possibility for a long run. That doesn't happen these days. For one thing, everything gets made faster. For another, there's something to be said about our deteriorating attention spans. There's just a lot to criticize. Ted Mosby was so popular because a guy as a hopeless romantic isn't that common in the media, whereas every female-led film is a rom-com. So flipping the title seems a bit cheap. And for a modern era show with a millennial fan base, writing jokes that attempt to be hip just isn't working. What's with all the abbreviations? IDK, and that's not even mentioning the laugh track. Who uses laugh tracks anymore? What's that really where we were supposed to laugh? The dialogues, the careful and clinical diversity, and the cast not meshing. Some fans don't even understand why it got renewed. It's that bad, and we're sorry to say the first season didn't live up to the hype. That's all for now. On a positive note, the second season of How I Met Your Father will feature more episodes and a bigger cast. Which one of these things are you looking forward to? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure you give this video a like and go ahead and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Bye for now and see you in the next one.